Okay, so this is how I figured out how to do my battery packs. Uh, after recording everything on a sheet, I transferred everything to uh, Microsoft right here where it says alarm hookup batteries. I use an Excel sheet. I think I just opened it twice. And what I did is I transferred all my batteries to sheets like this where it let me know the capacity, the resistance, and then over to the side I put how many were zero volt, how many were low voltage, maybe use above 2000, 2100, and good to use. And I did this with every single pack I made they're just staging packs but this one is made from the packages I got package one package two package three package four and then after I was done with that I copied all these I went all the way down and copied every single uh, battery I had and I transferred it and I transferred it to a word file and I divided it I made sure that after every cell, I put a comma. So this is from the very first package all the way to the very last package. And I put every single cell that I did, regardless if it was 1400 milliamps to 2600 milliamps, I did it all the way through, no matter the capacity. Then I took it and I copied it. All you do is you copy it like this and then you open up DIY's um, cell packer it's it looks like it's called the second life storage repacker I, I I'm not sure if I'm allowed to post a link but it I'm sure you could Google search it second life storage repacker and I pasted all of my cells in this box and I went down and it says number of cells in series well this is only made for one for one pack I need it to work for 12 packs on this one so what I did is I know that out of the 12 packs there's going to be times three in each pack so three series connections in each pack. That is a total of 36 series, 36. Then I knew that I wanted them all in parallels of eight. So I put in eight. And then I left the first one mark, arrange cells and packs. So, so each have similar capacity and same number of cells in parallel. Generate pack. takes a little bit to think sometimes once it's done with that it gave me all of these cells evenly I guess all the capacities are pretty even then if you look down here it says pack data and it allows you to copy this it says copy this and then go to your Google Sheets. And it should open up a spreadsheet. Well, you might have to hit blank. Click A. And then just click Paste. And it, that's all that it's all of them all evenly balanced and what I do what I did after that is I would go in here and I put insert a column insert one left then I go to three insert one left then I go insert one left I did and then I would take then I would take all of these after I was done, I copy them all. 
and then I would open up my Excel file again and I would paste it in I would paste it I'd click that and click paste and what it did is it, it made them all show up kind of like this and then I did a little bit of uh, you know I resized the cells and all I, I resized each column so that it would all fit on one sheet of paper and it gave me one two three four five six seven eight eight of them on this one Oh yeah, I only needed eight for this this build. And so I made sure it was all on one sheet. And after it's all on one sheet, I go to the print. And it shows me that it's all on one sheet. And I just printed it. Just make sure that you make all the columns small enough that you can still see the number. And it stays within the lines of the paper. I also kind of highlighted them. You got to know how to use Excel in order to do this, so I'm not too good at Excel, but I know enough to get me by. So, after I was done with all of this, I'd go back in and get all my packs together, and because these are in some kind of order, they kind of go, that, that system kind of pulls the highest first and then works its way down to the lowest. These are actually all kind of sort of in order. So I laid out all my packs, you know, the little packs that I had of everything staged on. And I would find 2713 and so forth. It's a very long process to make packs. But in the end, they're all balanced almost perfectly. So far I've done four packs. Uh, the reason why I haven't done any more packs is I'm waiting on 100 batteries that are supposed to be here that are supposed to be above 2200 milliamps they're supposed to be around 24 I'm gonna add those into my new repacker and it's supposed to give me a whole new because I, I have some let's see I don't know if it shows in this one but I did a repacker I might have I might have deleted it anyways I did it and I ended up with a bunch of cells that were 2100 and 20,000 and that would not work I needed a uh, I needed all my cells to be above 22 so I had to order a hundred new cells I'm really picky uh, so I got a hundred coming they're supposedly all above 2200 I'm gonna feed those back into the repacker and then redo all this to where I have 12 packs all above 2200 so I can finish up my packs they should all be evenly balanced. I uh, shouldn't have no worries after I'm done. But this is how I use this little system. So if you have any questions, I guess leave me a comment below.